for so long. I've been trying to get Hey guys, it's me, and today is what day is today? Hump day. It's Wednesday. Okay, let me figure out where the camera is. I am going to go to the beach, and I thought I may take you with me. I'll just, I'm not sure where I'm going to go, if I'm going to go to the sound side or the ocean. I know I'm going to ride up and see what they're doing on our house. They have been painting. It's getting so exciting. So, I will just take you with me wherever I land. Sorry, I'm having a hard time. Normally, I do my camera that way. This time, I did it this way, and so the camera is on the opposite side. I thought I would just give you some updates to like on Chanel. We just gave her her second course of antibiotics. It's a once a day liquid. Yesterday she ate it off of like wet food. You know how they'll you know eat the gravy and stuff off of the food but they don't eat the food. Well that's what she did but she ate the medicine off of it. Well today she was much smarter than that. So I had to, John had to hold her and I had to like shoot it down her throat, but you know, as a mom, we have to do those things. So I don't know where, I don't know if she's up here, but I can already tell that she feels better because today, I think it's the first time ever that she sat on my lap. I mean, I had to like hold her down just for a little bit because she tenses up so bad when I put her on my lap, but yet she wants to just constantly be petted and have attention. So I thought, well, if she would just sit on my lap while I'm doing something, I picked her up and I put her and I just kind of lightly, you know, embraced her for a little bit and really petted her and scratched her head and everything. And she sat with me for the longest time purring and then she got it there again. I think she feels better already and I knew that she was overweight. They told me last time I took her to the vet she was overweight and it's just, it's a tough thing that you got to do. We quit, you know, putting food out in the garage at night. They sleep in the garage and they've got water, of course, and litter boxes and beds and all that stuff. Heater, air conditioned, everything. It's not like they're suffering. So I was hoping that when she went this time that she would weigh a little bit less and that would have helped, but it didn't. I think she just doubled up during the day. So she is definitely on a diet. Let me go see how much she weighs and turn this sound off. Okay, oh my goodness. She is nine years old and weighs 14.8 pounds. So the doctor, when I talked to her on the phone, said that she probably needed to lose two to three pounds. So my goal is to get her down to 11 or 12 pounds. We'll know, we'll know how she looks. And since I've kind of gone through the whole weight loss thing and eating better and feeling better, I can imagine that she didn't feel good. That along with the UTI, and they said when they get so fat like that and they can't clean themselves, they really, that makes it even worse. So it was one of those moments I needed to hear that. So she is on a diet along with Bubba. He also needs to lose weight. He will be the next one to go. We're just gonna, that's what we usually do is just take them one at a time, a couple weeks apart to the vet. They will be telling me the same thing for him. That is all good news. Chanel feels better. She's getting her medicine. She has pain medicine that is a tablet. That is, um, she takes that, I think twice a day. And then she just takes the antibiotic once a day. So she's doing good. And I just put on my beach makeup. This is what I would typically wear to the beach. I pretty much like putting on full makeup because I don't know, it makes me feel good. And it's my sunscreen. So I've been loving this, the SPF 40, CC Matte. Today I put it on with a beauty blender. Sometimes I do it with my hands. I have tried a brush, but it's thick. So I think your hands are probably the best thing. It's just sometimes I don't like doing that. I don't know what it is. I just would rather put it on with something else. And I put it on with the beauty blender, but I think what would be even better is like the Real Techniques or the Colleen Rothschild sponges that have the flat surface. I think this would be a great one to just kind of spread with the flat side of the sponge. This tone is amazing and the coverage is amazing. It's neutral medium. I love it. Now you might not like the matte. It's the oil-free matte anti-aging hydrating serum. Full coverage cream. It really is. It, it will get glowy. Like I have tried mixing this with like the illuminating one or mixing it with something to make it not as matte, but it, it ends up being too glowy. 
the mat is perfect, especially for a beach day. So you can see it gives good coverage. I did not put on any powder or anything underneath my eyes. So that is why I have circles under my eyes, but I'm gonna be wearing my sunglasses. So there's no point in putting on a bunch of eye makeup or concealer. There's just no point in it. Okay, and I don't really have a good bathing suit that I like. I have been wearing these um, Good American bottoms, and I, I don't, I just, I'm not gonna do a bikini shot here right here now, but I do like them. They come up high, they're like double lined, and they just, I like them a lot. So that is good. I had bought a kind of like a bra top type thing from H&M. It was lavender, I was suckered in, but I didn't like it. I much prefer a triangle top. So if you guys know of any really pretty bikinis or tops, triangle tops, let me know. I'd like to get some, you know, fancier bathing suits maybe this year. I've always thought when you go to the beach, you just wear a bikini. You don't really worry about it. But when you go to a pool, that's when you want more of a pretty cover up, some nice shoes, you know what I mean? It's just a different thing. Like when we used to go to the water park, I would try to have a nicer bathing suit. It's just, I don't know, it's just in my head. For lips, yesterday I laid out, I went to the pool and then my mom called and said, you wanna go to the beach? So I met my mom at the beach and I did not have a sunscreen lip with me. I had these here. This is the um, Suntegrity Sunscreen Lip Gloss 25 in the color is summer fling. I've got it on now with a lip liner, the nude sandals that I did with Christian Audet last year. I want to use a lip liner that's going to last all day. That one is going to last all day. So here is the color. Very pretty. So a good nude lip. And I'm going to take this and I haven't gotten a beach bag yet. You know, I mentioned that beach bag and you guys knew exactly what I was talking about. But that is not really the best beach bag for the beach. I can see that being good for the boat and for the pool. But when I go to the beach, I, I did this one year. When John and I went to Mexico, I bought a beach bag that was kind of like a mesh. And so I wanted to use it when we got home and I used it for a couple years, but sand would get in it. And I didn't like that. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I've ordered a straw bag that might work. I'm not sure. Now that I'm not taking snacks, you know, all that kind of stuff with me as much, I do I do have a great big beach bag that's like a good family beach bag, but anyway, so when I get one, I'll show it to you. I want to tell you about these clips. Strongest clips ever, and they're cheap. I got them in a set from Amazon. It comes with this one, a black one. I think there's all different color sets but I have a blonde one, a pink one, and a black one, and I think Brooke might have a brown one. She's the one that told me she saw them on TikTok, and to order them, I really like these. I know these are everywhere. You can get them at the dollar store, but these are strong, and they're just the perfect like depth, and they're, I like that it's curved. So just, you know, this is something I'll take to the beach. I prefer to put my hair up, when I'm at the beach versus a ponytail, if I'm laying on my stomach, I don't want that, you know, shade on the back of my back. Hey, I've got so much stuff to tell you. I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. One thing that I was gonna update you on, and you guys have probably figured this out, and it's no big deal, but I was just gonna tell you that John has retired. He retired early, he's 60 years old. He had been at the same company for 30, I don't know, 35 years and he was the IT site leader. He has been home since he retired in February. And so he's home, so if my schedule gets off or you know, you feel like anything's a little different with me, it's not that there's anything wrong, I'm enjoying having him here, but it is an adjustment. And I'm sure that you ladies that have been through this will know what I'm talking about. It's kind of like that episode from Sex and the City where Aiden is living with Carrie and he's, you know, she loves him. He's, you know, she loves him being there. He's helped, I think he's fixing up her apartment, but she walks in the door and he's like, hey, what are you doing? Where you been? Who you seen? And she was just like, can you give me a minute to just come in? Don't say anything to me and just let me relax. I can relate to that, especially like 
when I come in or in the mornings, like when I get up, <laughs> you see, I'm trying to be quiet, but there's just a big adjustment. And you guys know, I love my alone time. So luckily I love my car <laughs> and I love you guys. So this is a great, you know, thing for me to, to be doing, but like just like now I can hear him moving in his chair. And even that is awkward when you're used to filming alone and being alone. But when we move to our new house, I'm gonna have the whole upstairs to myself to film in and that's gonna be wonderful. The um, bottom of the stairways, it doesn't have a door there. It has a door at the top of the stairs. I got to choose what I wanted and I chose the door to the top of the stairs because I just didn't want that door right there. I don't know, I just, that's what I chose. And then the book that I'm reading, I read a little bit of it last night. I need a bookmark. I've got a piece of junk mail in here. But the book I'm reading now is The One Thing, New York Times bestseller. And I love self-help books. Even when I lived at home after I got divorced and I was dating, I would buy a lot of self-help books, not necessarily on dating, but books to find out um, what was important to me, what I really wanted, learning from your mistakes, things like that. I was watching an old uh, Tamara Kalinick book and she was talking about her success with YouTube and blogging. She named this book and it just got my attention because I have a hard time narrowing down what I want to focus on. I know that, you know, I want most of my attention and my thoughts to be on my family, you know, things like that. So I want to maximize the time that I spend on my work and on YouTube. And so I was thinking maybe this just might help me become more focused, but it's really, it would be good for anyone. It is just, it, you know, of course it gives lots of examples of different corporations, different, let's see, let me just read you this one paragraph. The problem is we tend to act on what we believe, even when what we believe isn't anything we should. As a result, buying into the one thing becomes difficult because we've unfortunately bought into too many others. And more often than not, the other things muddle our thinking, misguide our actions, and sidetrack our success. So I'm just hoping it will maybe help me be more focused. So I'm gonna be reading that. And what else? I feel like there's something else that I wanted to, oh, I was gonna tell you the series and stuff we've been watching because Boy, we've watched some good things and we've watched some bad things. The other night we watched, oh, I was looking for my phone and I'm filming on it. We watched a movie with Russell Crowe that was so disturbing, but it was a thriller. It, you know, was supposed to be that way, but it really brought a video idea to my head about decisions. To me, even more disturbing than him going nuts in that movie and I think it's, oh, I'll put the name down here, was the way she acted. And so it just brought on so many feelings and you don't want to do that. But we watched um, another, we started last night a movie. I think it was called, it has John Travolta. It has um, Penelope Cruz in it. And I believe it's called Scandal or Scandalous we stopped because we both were sleepy at nine o'clock and went to bed. So we're gonna finish that. Oh, I know what it is. The one I wanted to tell you about that was pretty good. I mean, it was not an award-winning movie, but if you're like us, you like to have something to watch. It was with Liam Neeson and it was The Honest Thief, I think. That one was pretty good. And then the series we just finished was Turn. And that was the one that was set back in the um, 1700s. So just wanted to throw those out there because if you're like me, you're always wanting to watch something. Another series that we watched that was so good and it was called The One. And if you've seen it, you know what I mean. It really sucked us in. But so I'm gonna list those down below in case you're looking for something to watch. And then now I'm going to take my new flip flops and I've just got on some old joggers and this Walmart tank and we are going to Go to the beach. So I don't know if I'll, you know, talk much there, but I just thought I would show you how pretty it is already. It's already like 80 degrees 
and just give you something pretty to look at. And I appreciate you guys so much for being here. Oh, by the way, starting my summer hair. So this is yesterday coming home from the beach and jumping in the shower. I used the Kerastase yesterday and I was like so out of my groove. I didn't know what to put in it. And I knew I wasn't supposed to brush it. So all I did was put in Kerastase oil on the ends and I sprayed some Kendra, just the blowout spray. And just, I did put some clips like right here just to keep it out of my face while I was doing stuff yesterday. And so I'll have to get back in my groove. I need to brush it out before I get in the shower so I don't have to brush it afterwards. And I'll probably have to put something in it. I can't remember what I used last year. I'm thinking maybe the Kerastase moisture cream or something like that, just to give it some moisture and some oomph. But also probably what it will need is to get back into that routine. And you know, after you've straightened it and curled it, it needs to have time to get back into like a little bit of a curl pattern. Oh, I got my beach watch on. I don't know if I will wear it at the beach, but yesterday I missed having it with me. So I think I'm going to either put it on my chair. That's what I used to do is just leave one on my chair or put it in my beach bag but the Baby G-Shock is just such a good one for the beach, and I just love this one. I love the color of it. I will see you soon, and I will see you Friday. Bye-bye. It is so hot, and I will turn you around in just a minute and show you the ocean, but there is like no breeze hardly, so I'm gonna lay here for a little bit. I don't need to stay too long just because I don't want to get burnt or anything. I wanna be able to come back feels so good. Lay here and read my book and just enjoy it. Probably edit my video tonight and post it tomorrow or this weekend. I just saw my sister-in-law and my niece leaving the beach. They like to come early. I usually do too, but this time of year I don't worry about it quite as much, but if it stays like this, I will. Now let me turn you around and let you see how pretty 